hello so let's get started working with blender with a few basics now before you can start working on any of the object the first thing that you need to know is to be able to select the objects okay so obviously this should be known to everyone almost you can select any of the objects or anything around here by normal left click of your mouse fine so when you have to work on any object first thing you have to do is select the object so you can select any of the objects in your 3d viewport directly by clicking them okay now over here you can select multiple objects by selecting the first object and then press shift and then click around on the remaining objects that you want to select so this way we can select multiple objects another thing that you can do is if you want to select all the objects there is a shortcut and the shortcut is the a key but important aspect about blender 3d is that whenever you are going to use keyboard shortcuts which are effective to a particular window like the keyboard shortcut right now we want to use for selecting all the objects is a so when i press a all objects in the 3d view area will be selected important aspect is that my mouse cursor should be inside that window for which that effective command is okay so if i keep my mouse cursor somewhere else the command may give the different effect or it may not work at all like if i press a right now you can see something else is happening so we don't want that happening or if your work is not getting done so probably your cursor is not in the suitable window so to select all the objects over here i can simply press a to unselect them i can press a twice very quickly then another shortcut for this is alt a alt a is basically unselect objects a is select alt a is unselect or you can use by pressing a select all and quickly pressing a twice unselect them this is the way you can do it from the 3d view area another possibility is if you wanted to select multiple objects you could simply drag a box around them fine so any objects that fall into this area get selected this is the default selection that is happening this drag based or drawing a circle or uh, lasso select and all we will see later on but this is the default one which you can see though this is not uh, going to be very useful inside a 3d view immediately but still you can use it so this way you can select objects from your 3d viewport another way to select your objects would be to use your outliner window here you can see the outline or list of the objects that are over here okay so we can select any of the objects directly by clicking on it okay so here we can select the objects as from the available list if you wanted to select multiple of them you could simply drag a box around them simply like that or you could do a multiple selection of different objects by selecting the first object now here you have to press control instead of shift control to select multiple objects you will notice that in the 3d view area those multiple objects are getting selected so this would be our another way of selecting the objects now as i mentioned earlier while creating multiple objects we will follow a rule of giving proper names to our objects that way it is easy to distinguish otherwise you can notice that is q1 q2 q3 and so on a basic name will be there and later on it becomes difficult to find out which object is where apart from that selecting from the outliner is useful sometimes our objects are out of screen and all or sometimes they just randomly go here and there and they are not visible so you could select them and get them relocated somewhere so this is selections of our object this way we can select objects there are some options in the menu also that you can have a look but this is the basic fundamental way to select any of the objects on which you want to work upon next thing that we want to do is 
to see how we can delete the objects. So obviously any object that you want to delete, you simply select the object. You can now right click on the object and select delete. You could press simply the X key. X is the shortcut for delete. So it gives you a confirmation box. You could delete it. Or you could go to the outliner, select it, press X here. That way it will be deleted. But you need to note that it did not ask me for confirmation. Another thing that you could do is you could right click and say delete from here also. That way also your object will get deleted. So this is how we can delete the objects, the ones which we don't require. But what if uh, we deleted by mistake? So obviously, just like all the other applications, Blender also supports redo and undo, which you can do from obviously the edit option. There is uh, undo, redo and so on. So the undo is standard control Z. Press it multiple times and you will get that. And redo is shift, control and Z. That is redo. Fine. So you can redo your this thing. So that is the basic about selecting objects, single, multiple and all, deleting objects, redo and undo. Very basic fundamental, but this is the basic thing that we need to know how to work with it. So that is it in this video. In the next video, we will see how to move around in our 3D view area and few other concepts.